Leeware development. In this segment, we're going to talk about how to create and use logon scripts. Logon scripts are not commonly used in Windows 2000 networks. Windows 2000 networks automates much of the user's configurations. In older network configuration environments, for example, this isn't the case. The administrators use logon scripts to configure the user's environment. In order to accomplish this, we'll start out by setting up Windows 2000 to create a logon script and we'll right click and we'll double click my computer and open the Windows Explorer and we'll navigate to the WinNT System32 directory and once there we'll right click and select new and create the folder REPL for replication. We'll double click that folder then we'll right click and then create a new folder called scripts or actually import. Then we'll double click that folder and create a subdirectory called scripts. Now this is the location WinNT System32 rep import scripts. So then we'll right click and say new and create a new text file and we'll call it logon.bat. We'll say yes to this dialog. We'll right click and then select edit and we'll fill in the content. We'll say echo off and this particular bat file will map three uh, drives, local drives on our machines to three network shares. So we'll do an REM which is a remark and then script used to map network drives to local workstation for users. I'd say echo configuring drive mappings. This is the message the user will see on the screen and then we'll issue the actual commands. Net use drive X on a local machine attach it to WAC WAC P2P FS7 WAC and then share distro. Net use drive Y on the local machine and we'll connect that to the server call P2P FS S7 and we'll connect that to the share videos. And we'll map our last drive, net use drive Z to P2P FS7 storage. We'll exit, then say end. Now we'll save this executable script. We're going to file and then save, then we'll do file and then exit. So now our logon script is ready. Now we'll go set this up under the user's environment settings. So we'll right click on my computer, select manage, and we'll select a user. Um, expand local user and groups, maximize this window, and we'll select the user Cindy K. Then we'll go to the profiles tab and we'll put in for her logon script logon.bat. We'll click apply and then say close. Now when this user logs on to the workstation that particular script will run executing the commands in it. We'll look at that in another module.